Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the southern Thailand province of Patalung and we just arrived. It's kind of like a guest house, but you're also kind of like staying at the home of the owner, but it's a lodge. If you love nature, this place is spectacular. I'll probably just walk you around, give you a little tour, but I think before we do anything, uh, Micah really wants to go swimming in the river. So I think we'll, we'll first head straight to the river for a swim. They have some hammocks set up. Uh, it's just an amazing place to relax by the river. And then at some point, I'll also give you a tour of our room, which is like a, it is, it is a tree house. They're also known for their food, which is all organic. The owner, he's uh, really emphasizes even wild food, organic food. So I'll show you what he cooks, what they cook for dinner as well. Okay, I'm gonna try to say the whole name of this place. You gotta read it, it's so long. Ban Ton Mai Roy Wan Non Phai Sai Nam. It means a uh, tree house sleeping with the sound of the river or with the sound of next to the river. And so all of the tree houses, all of the accommodation, the entire, the entire lodge is just right next to the river. And then it's just surrounded by lush nature. Just look at this abundance. It's jungle. It's the Patalung Rainforest. We're in the Patalung Rainforest. Okay, and then you enter right here. This is kind of the, the front entrance gate. And now we are in the property in the... It's almost, it almost feels like you're in a nature community here. This is kind of the center courtyard. You can, there's some tables around here. This is where you can eat meals. This is where you can hang out. And our room is actually up there in that tree house right there, but we'll come back for a tour. You ready? Ready to go swimming? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. We'll pick up this tour later, but Micah really wants to go swimming, so let's take a break now. Let's go swimming. And I think really the highlight, why, one of the reasons that you come in here is for the nature, the jungle, but especially to play in the river. Thank you, Micah. Rambutan. Rambutan. Thank you. Come down here. I think this is the tree house we were originally gonna stay in. Uh, uncle had booked us into this tree house. He wanted us to stay here, but then he decided, yeah, it wasn't so good for, for kids, for a three-year-old. And I think he's probably right, but this is so cool. It really is a true tree house. Amazing staying up there. You're within the canopy of trees and literally directly over the river. Oh yeah, that's cold, but like in the extremely kind of refreshing way. It feels really good because it's so humid here too. Wait, we have to see how deep it goes here. Come on, slowly. Oh, it's a bay. It's nice that it's not a muddy bottom. It's, it's like sandy bottom. My God, that feels great, huh? Oh, oh that's cold. Oh, that feels great. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is great. I'm gonna make my way over to probably what is the coolest, what is the coolest place at this entire lodge in this entire area. Up the small waterfall. And yes, here it is, a hammock over the water, over the river. Yeah, the current is a bit stronger here. Oh, see if I can get on here without falling. It feels a little wobbly. It's kind of a narrow hammock. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's like you're riding the, riding the current riding the stream of, of the river. Oh, that's amazing. Then I just got to get to a balancing point and then you're just like, just at complete peace, just floating on the top of the water with the help, with the aid of the hammock, which is just perfectly submerged. 
and the temperature of the water is just perfect too. show us the the tree house real fast but really quickly all the food here everything this is the rambutan everything is fresh natural local organic from here and they emphasize that I was about to just go up and show you our room but met with um, the mm. but we just met with the owner uh, she said she can go take us to see the tree house the one tree house at the at the far side over there real fast the one we looked at earlier before but this is really built into a tree it is a real tree house okay. okay this is the real tree house one yeah, yeah, really yeah. nice <laughs> okay thank you uh, wow. inside from the two people okay and, can live and it's completely yeah. open yeah. air yeah yeah open air open air uh, from two people very nice yeah you can come all the way around the yeah, room yeah. Yeah, the over room. on this side yeah, yeah. everything is over the river too ah yeah for a little chill for the oh it's so cool yeah, um, yeah this is one of the coolest yeah. accommodations ever not, just not, not yeah free. it's probably not good for kids yeah. though for a thumb tree, big tree. Yeah, not, not it's like, yeah. it is a proper tree house, just yeah. built completely into the tree. Yeah. Um, you have this, you kind of have this outside, just chill out area, which is overlooking the river, but you can put the mattress down here just to chill out in the daytime. You're in the shade. And again, just the cool breeze coming off the river. Oh man, it's so awesomely cool. Everything is just open, free. Just listen to the sound of the river. One of the coolest treehouse accommodations I've seen anywhere. And then again, we were gonna stay in this treehouse, but then the owner said it's probably not good for a three-year-old. And yeah, that's definitely right. This is not, not the right place for a three-year-old, but if you don't have young kids, man, come to stay in the treehouse. Highly recommended, so cool. And it's so clean as well. And then yet another just awesomely cool, relaxing, chill out area right underneath the treehouse. But still, this is still part of the treehouse, just the lower level. Uh, which you could just kind of chill out here in the daytime, sit here a little closer to the water. You're surrounded by vines. Uh, our house is more like a stilt. A stilt house, but it is still completely built into the trees uh, and still completely nature. And I think in this stilted tree house, there's maybe two or three rooms plus the bathrooms. Uh, and the communal bathrooms are right here. I'll just quickly show you. Really nice and clean and pretty new. I think it's pretty new too. Uh, basic but clean. So it's a whole wet bathroom style Thai system uh, with the toilet and then the shower shower right here. It's the type of toilet where you, you just throw water down to flush. Works really well. All right, that's the bathroom. I think this whole wing is quite new, uh, but they've done a really good job. It's uh, very clean. It's the wood is well, it's just so well designed too. And welcome to our room. I love the style, the simplicity, the minimalism, just everything wood, and again, just the windows. Oh, our balcony is also very cool. Uh, but the bed is just, it's, there's only a bed in here and it's just on the floor, there's a mosquito net. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bit of a harder bed, which I really like to, uh, but yeah, we're gonna sleep really well. It's gonna be cool. We can hear the sound of the river. Mosquito net probably is mandatory. Yeah, and definitely the coolest thing about this room, though, is the balcony.
And again, just the full 180 view of nature surrounded by the treetops, the bamboo sprouting up. But the best part of this room is this whole chill out seating section, like a little podium over the river. Yeah, yeah you can just sit, you can relax, and you really do feel like you are in the tops of the trees overlooking the river, the breeze. This is a cool little chill out spot too. And that completes the tour of our room and I'm glad we got to take a look and walk around the treehouse as well. That really would be the ultimate room to stay in here. Uh, but I think, I mean, you'd come here definitely for the nature, for the river, for the jungle, for the peace, the relaxation. That's the, that's the highlight by far. But man, what a, what a cool place. We actually ended up swimming again later this afternoon and Micah and I took the kayak out into the bigger pool of water. It's just a jungle paradise and the owners, their respect for nature just shows in everything. And now dinner is served, which I'm very excited for. Uh, they emphasize organic vegetables and organic ingredients local from the community here. They serve it just buffet style, so completely laid back self-service. Let's see what they have. This is... Oh, this is the Genkua Gaiban. It's a curry with uh, just free-range chicken and um, and bamboo shoot, it looks like. And there, there might be some stink beans in here, too. Oh, that smells incredible. Then over in this pot, uh, this is the Gai Tom Kamin, I think. Uh, boiled turmeric soup. And then this one. Oh, this is a Namprek shrimp paste chili dip with some roasted stink beans. Oh, yeah, this is rice. Oh yes, all the, the big basket of fresh vegetables. What's under this huge thing? Oh, oh nice. There's omelet and there's also the, the fried vegetables, which I think is a combination of uh, fern and miang leaves, melinjo leaves, as well as they threw on a handful of, uh, this This area is very well known for their, their luk, luk chok, which is, uh, it's a type of palm fruit, like a jelly fruit. Awesome. Stir fried with egg, it looks like. A plate all self -serve. Oh man. I'm so hungry and so excited I couldn't fit it all in one plate. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, this food looks amazing. Gotta start with that curry, the bamboo shoots. There's stink beans in here. There's chicken. Oh, wow. Oh, this is perfect. You taste the spice, the black pepper immediately. The sweetness of the bamboo shoots. You barely even need the chicken in there. I mean, I'd be happy just with bamboo shoots and that turmeric and stink beans. Wow. And then all the different vegetables. I'm not sure what this one is, but it almost looks like rocket. Um, add some of the, the chili paste, shrimp paste. And I can still taste that galangal from that curry. That's incredible. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Most of the herbs and vegetables, I mean, they grow everything or forage everything here. And then with that shrimp paste chili dip, dip, just incredible. And then the fried vegetable with the luk chok. Oh wow, that's just delicious too. The, the mix of vegetables, fern and melinjo leaves with egg, and then that luk chok which literally has the texture of a gummy worm or a gummy bear. And then finally, this is the, the Gaiban Dom Kamin. Again, uh, chicken, free range chicken, boiled with turmeric and winter melon. And that soup is just simple, soothing, full of vibrant turmeric. Oh, and roasted stink beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to go back for seconds, it was so good. And I got mostly vegetables and there's some curry on the bottom. That curry is incredible. Again, Kua Gaiban. Outstanding food. And again, just simple, delicious. We're just gonna sit here. We're gonna relax. We're again, listening to the sound of the river. It's all about listening to the sound of the river here. They've done such a good job with this place. Warm, friendly, hospitable. 
I think I love this place. As for price, how much was it? Ying? 750. 750 baht per person, which is about $20 per person per night. That includes dinner and breakfast uh, and accommodation. Definitely, if you have the means, if you are, if you don't have young children, uh, staying in that treehouse, that would be the ultimate experience here. But even our place is, is fantastic. Uh, Micah and I have really enjoyed playing in the river and just hanging out and eating dinner. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. I want to say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll have all the information in the description box below. And thank you again for watching. Remember to subscribe. I'm going to be publishing a lot more food and travel, uh, especially travel guides and travel tips and accommodation reviews. See you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.